Okay, so with what we just did with the PID auto tuning, we, we need to go ahead and add in a graphic in here so that we can actually do that if we're set, you know, like if an admin signs in, then they have the ability to do some tuning or even change it from the actual HMI and not have to do the, you know, open up the PLC file and change the bit just like we just did. So uh, what we're gonna do is we're going to our graphics. You see I already have some stuff that's in here for admin type stuff. And I'm going to go ahead and we're going to use this uh, the same Logix uh, PIDE uh, graphic that comes standard with uh, Factory Talk. We're not using the Gems block or we're not using Plant PAX or anything like that. Nothing fancy. We're just using the standard one that comes with it. But this will show you parameter passing. So we're going to come in here, draw an image. Let's see. Let's actually get a button. And we'll, we'll draw the button over this. And then we'll take the appearance and make it uh, transparent. Okay, so that's a transparent image now. Let's come over here, open up the properties again, do actions, pick the actions. We're gonna go to navigate. So you go to graphics, uh, navigate our graphic displays, navigation, do display. We're gonna pick our display, and that's gonna be our logics PID, PIDE. Okay, and then we're going to go to parameter pass. This is where we're going to pick our parameter, and we're going to come in here, and let's uh, let's uh, just refresh our tag database, or refresh refresh our folders anyway, and then we're going to come in here to our program. So we need to make sure that if we go into our program, what program level we put this at, and I believe we put it at mixing tank PIDE. So, and we're gonna be called cooling or tank cooling. So we'll go mixing tank. So this would be uh, mixing tank PID. So this would be right here, mixing tank PID E, and then it's called cooling. And that's going to be the actual PID loop. So tank cooling will be our PID loop that we need and that should be it right so this would be the exact thing we need to pull up so that pulls that up and let's hit finish all right so that's there now we want to make give this admin privileges so we're going to go into here and go to visibility do an expression do functions security security code which a user has security code and then we'll put a b in here because that's that's something that an admin would use only. And then we'll hit that. Now we'll go ahead and save the screen. All right, so we'll go ahead and save the screen and do that. All right, so we're gonna go over here and refresh our screen because we were already on the client. Now we currently don't have that pop-up, but let's go ahead and sign in. And let's use admin and then put the password in there. All right, so it's going to sign in now, and then we're gonna see if our graphics work. Okay, so we have an overlay here, which will pull up our PID, okay? So this pulls up our PID and our set point and everything. And it's currently in there, so that's perfectly fine. Um, we can set all our units in here, we can do everything we need to. Um, look at our trend, if we wanna trend it. So we can look at our trend right here and see how the, the history is. And currently you see the trend is actually working. So that's that, that's good there. We can look at our tuning parameters if we wanna manually tune anything. Again, this gives the operator or it gives the person that has admin privileges the ability to do something. And again, uh, coming in here and then, you know, coming in changing to different things. Now we have it hard coded, so we have things in here so that's not gonna allow us to, to you know, change parameters and stuff like that right now um, we would have to unpin everything but as far as this goes this this does give you the ability to actually come in here and manually tune things which is perfectly fine but just keep in mind some of the things if you unpin everything and you have everything the, all the graphics will pop up and work so now we have that ability in here so now that's cool to have right we also have this uh, where we can change the set point and the set point too, I've added this in here so we can just change the set point whenever we want to, only for the admin people, not for operators, not for anybody else. And we're not gonna throw it in as a recipe thing because this would be a standard cooling of the product, right? So we're saying, 
the product mixing tank we just want to we want to change the temperature of that and generally you want to keep that as a constant so in that atmosphere you could put it as a recipe if you needed to but again when it comes to recipes um, we want to keep that I mean it just really depends on the customer if you want to have it as a recipe you could if you want to have it as something as an admin privilege um, then keep it like this right so it's really up to that uh, and how the project scope is but we can change this and let's just say we want to go to a hundred we can't actually add in a hundred because we have our max right here we can enter in our max or our minimum or we can even change between the two clear everything out change between two 60 degrees and hit enter and that gives us our variable if we hit 70 degrees come over here that changes that and so if we go into our code go into our code and now it's changed our set point to 70 degrees which is automatically uh, working because we have so you could you could actually see that off the trend it's automatically working because we've actually changed the set point and a nice little curve there to be honest with you from the tuning we just did nice little curve worked perfectly we changed the set point let's do that again so let's go back to 60 and let's come back into here and change this and watch this one more time so that that's a nice little curve we got from the auto tune so that's a really good feature um, and again after you tune everything and you have everything auto tune like I said you're not going to come back and tune uh, a PID just that you know after it's already been set up generally speaking you're only going to tune or change tuning at all on a PID is when um, you have like a process change not when you have like something's just been running for years and you have then all of a sudden it's not working right you need to start looking at that point in time you need to start looking at the field end of things and see what's wrong in the field like in a mechanical device or maybe something in the process has changed that uh, it's kind of unforeseen you know could be something stuck could be something not working properly again you're not going to have to change the the tuning of a PID just just randomly out of the blue right so that's why we say it's generally a constant so we put this graphic in here we have everything working we'll come in in the very next video and what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and do the full system testing so with all that said we'll see you guys on the next one